Hi, guys. It's me, P. It has been a very, very, very long time. Um, I'm in a new setup right now. This is just like my living room, super cozy vibes where Crystal and I are actually in the process of like selling a bunch of stuff in the bedroom for just like some newness and like getting rid of some old stuff. So it's, uh, I don't have a desk anymore, <laughs> essentially, but this is pretty cozy. I'm liking these vibes. I just wanted to jump on and acknowledge that it's been a very long time since Sarah and I have released a podcast for Girl on Girl. And we definitely have some updates and some news. Sarah is actually going to join in um, for this episode just to kind of like tell her you know, side of the story and like what the future plan is. So I'm going to take us over there. <laughs> and uh, so now you can like hear from Sarah and know what the plan is. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Purse. How's it going? Girl, it's going good. Um, I'm laughing at us because we just had the most technical difficulties trying to get a simple recording going because it's been, we counted 10 months since we've done this. We fell off the face of the earth and we could not be found. No, we fell off the face of the earth and we have come together in this moment to explain what happened and yes. what's going to happen moving forward. Do you want to start from your perspective yes. of what, why we fell off the face of the earth? Yeah. And I mean, we laugh about it now, Sarah and I, because we're like, you know what? It was almost like after the last episode was recorded, I'm, I believe it was the one with Eden and Jay last September. Yeah. Which I couldn't even make that recording because I was away or something. There was something happening. There was something happening. You couldn't make it. Um, so I just did the interview and it was a great interview. Like really, like honestly, one of our best episodes actually, Sarah. Yeah, I agree. I okay. loved that conversation so much. Yeah, it was good. And even just in terms of like the performance, like- Ah, uh, purse. As if we had like our top performing video and we just disappeared without a trace. <laughs> our bad. But um, I guess the best way to word this is that, so yeah, Eden and Jay's episode is out. We're on a high. Sarah and I are still like planning like upcoming episodes. But honestly, both of us were so burnt out around this time to be fully transparent it was, yeah, like last year, 2023, around the fall, summer going into fall, we had a lot on the go. And from my perspective, the job I'm at is is very demanding and would be taking up like, you know, a lot of time and also into the evening. And I think also the time difference with Vancouver and Toronto, it's three hours. So I mm -hmm. felt like by the time Sarah and I would finally be ready to record, I was just exhausted. Like, fully exhausted. <laughs> totally. Because guys, a lot of times, you know, we'd want to wait till I was done work here in Vancouver. So say that's like 6 PM, right? I'm burnt out from my work day. Meanwhile, per for purse, it's 9 PM. She's exhausted. She's like, listen, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> and we somehow have to put together some coherent sentences. Yeah. And I, and I want to go back to some of those like times <laughs> and even like watch back or listen back to see like we always pulled through, but I wonder if we could like hear it in our voices, just kind of like we were sleepy. And yeah. <laughs> I, and that's a good point, because I think by the time Sarah was ready, it was getting to be like 9 p.m. And there were also times, too, when I was trying to like plan like my night. But by the time I get back, it's like we're both like, you know what, should we just not tonight and like listen to our mental health and our bodies? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And from my perspective, I was also feeling so burnt out, not specifically just from work, but just from everything, like even just social life, like balancing all the things. Um, I also like, as I think you guys like past listeners know, I also have like a freelance business. There's just a lot going on and there's always been a lot going on, but there was something about last fall that where it all just felt like it felt like everything was enough of a burnout for both Purse and I to like completely organically just like stop doing the pod and weeks started going by and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and then once enough time goes by it was kind of like it was almost like this unspoken it was interesting we didn't really have a conversation of like okay we are going to take a long break to take care of our mental health let's let the listeners know 
<laughs> we just yeah. organically, unspokenly, I mean, we know each other so well. I think you knew I needed a little bit of a break. Yeah. And I think I knew you needed a little bit of a break for all the reasons you just said. Scheduling was getting so tough. Yeah. Um, and so it just happened organically. And then I think it kind of like spiraled out of our control where like all of a sudden it's 10 months later and we both like had had thoughts this entire time about oh, the podcast, like, wait, what's going on with the podcast? We got to get back to the podcast. But I do think in life, like, so for me, reflecting on this time where we haven't been doing it after two years of doing it every single week or every single month, for me, it was like, I kind of needed that. I needed that break. And I realized how much I needed it once we organically started it. Once we started having this break, I was like, oh, having this one thing off of my plate felt really good, even though I love the podcast so much. It's such a like passion project. And so I think sometimes in life, life tells you what you need without you even realizing, you know, that you need it. And I think we both just naturally fell into what we needed, which was a cute little 10 month break. Yeah. Good for us. Yeah. Also, one other thing is that we were both in at that time, I wouldn't say like new, new relationships, but we were in relationships that were like flourishing. Yeah. And I think that on top of all of the life stuff, work stuff, all that shit, it was also like, I think we were both really invested in nurturing our relationships and that takes time y'all that takes a lot of time that takes quality time and it takes commitment mm -hmm. to sometimes say no to a recording so that I can take care of my mental health and or have this like few hours with my partner because we haven't had any time today you know what I'm saying like I think that was really oh, important yeah. to both of us in the at that time and still is obviously um yeah <laughs> So that's a really good point. I didn't even really think of that, but we both got in new relationships around the same time. Like <laughs> we really did. Yeah. And that's true. I feel like naturally, like even Sarah and I would talk about this, not even related to the pod, but we would talk about like, you know, also making time like for your partner. This is such an exciting time, like those first few months as well. And like, as it goes on, it becomes even stronger, but you, you become even more like settled. Right in a good way. But I think, you know, there's so much excitement, like even like a good difference or a good thing to note is even with the time difference, I'd be like out probably with Crystal. And then yeah, uh, of course, home, I'm like, oh, Sarah, I'm so tired. Like I'm tired. Or oh, me, and, me and Crystal just had a great date. And now we want to like cuddle and hang out. You know what I mean? Like it feels weird to like go on this great date with your girlfriend and then come home and be like, <laughs> okay, I got to record this intro or whatever. Like, I, I think it was totally fair that it was getting tough. And I'm really proud of us for taking the break we needed and for focusing on our mental health. I do wish that we both, I mean, in retrospect, maybe communicated better, both of us about like, I think we both subconsciously knew we needed it, but we never actually had like the conversation, like of sitting down and being like, let's take a break. And I think that's okay. But I would have liked looking back, I think I should have brought up like, why don't we let the listeners know? Or why don't we, you know what I mean? Like communicate it to our audience. Cause we love you guys. The ones, yeah. the OGs, like <clears throat> we love you all so much. And so that was a learning lesson for me. I kind of yeah. wish I would have like been a bit more thoughtful about how we took the break in terms of our listenership. Cause we wouldn't have this. I mean, we would still have this podcast, but it wouldn't be as exciting if we didn't have our listeners. Yeah, because we were like so engaged with the listeners too, like the community that this podcast has like brought into our lives is so amazing. And I'll like never, ever like take that for granted. And I I wish I took that initiative too. It's just one of those things where sometimes you like silently yeah. just, and once again, this isn't a goodbye, which we will like announce <laughs> coming up in this little, this little nap. chat. Yeah, this little chit chat. It's not a goodbye, but it's for sure like 10 months passed and I wish we said something, even if it was to be like, you know what? Girl on girl is taking a pause while we figure some things out. Be but you know what? I feel like this is also very classic Sarah and I, and we're just going to own that. <laughs> this is so us, you guys, to be just like a little bit flighty. And like, <laughs> because, you know, sometimes Purse and I are just kind of like, 
wishy-washying our, <laughs> our way through life. Um, we're a bit more, what is it? We're a bit more left brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> left brain. <laughs> but I'm glad we both like had this time. We had this learning lesson. And why don't you tell everyone a little bit about what's going to be happening moving forward? Because yeah. girl on girl is back, but it's going to look a little bit different. Yes. So the podcast is back and I already discussed this with Sarah. I sent her like this very long voice note and we had a really like amazing discussion and talked it through. But basically the pod is going to continue, but it's just going to be me. It's just going to be your girl purse on the mic. Uh, Lots of solo (laughs) episodes. (laughs) <laughs> signs off. <laughs> Hell no. They're like, thank God I was waiting no. for this moment. <laughs> Never. It's going to be, it, it is just going to be um, more solo episodes. I'm still going to have guests on. I'm going to bring Crystal on for sure. Yes. She's mm-hmm. going to be in on some episodes, but mainly it's just going to be um, candid, cute little combos on the couch. Uh, and Sarah can still like here's the thing like this is still Sarah's podcast too it's not ever going to be like goodbye Sarah like I'm always like Sarah if you ever have the capacity jump in on a on an episode like let's still talk definitely that's the listeners are definitely going to miss like your perspective as well but just to carry it on um for my own like passions and like things I want to do I was like I want to do the podcast again but I like girl on girl we built such a good community from it so it's like I'm trying to think of it as a new chapter for Girl on Girl. Like Girl on Girl is like existing, but this is like a new facet, if that makes sense. It's like a- Exactly. It's an evolution. It's an evolution of the pod. And I want to talk a little bit about why why I made this decision, but can you say a little bit more about why you got inspired to start it back up again? Yeah. So actually, I'll give a shout out to my partner, Crystal, for literally just telling she the literally, crowd goes wild the crowd goes wild um well crystal is very into queer content like even her and I we always have like gay podcasts playing in the background shout out to like X's and O's um by Shannon Beveridge we really love listening to staying up with um Taryn and Cami as well mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's fun and um as we were just like it wasn't even like one conversation she brought it up to me multiple times but she kind of said like as we were listening to these podcasts, she's like, babe, I really miss girl on girl. Like, it, like, I really miss it. Like, why don't you do it anymore? And, um, she's kind of seen me through like my burnout as well. Um, yeah. And similar to Sarah, not just with work, like work was a big portion of it. Cause it's very busy, but also just with life, you know, and sometimes that can happen. And I explained that to her and she said, I totally get it. I just don't want you to forget like the things I believe you're just, you're really good at, like, don't let go Mm. of those passions. And she was saying just like, you, you can do it at your own pace, but I really think you should start it up again and like, like see what happens. You never know. And, um, actually my first love was always like broadcast or like speaking. And, you know, I went to school for that in the hopes of like, trying to do that in some form and I found like that was such a good outlet for me to do the podcast with Sarah and also talk about gay things like what could be better yeah the best combo (laughs) it's the best combo and especially now where I'm at in life as like I've been out for a very long time like even just in my life but also like through the internet Mm -hmm. and like I want to talk about like queerness I want to talk about being Indian I want to talk about being in my relationship you know I think there's just a lot I can continue to expand on and that's also what Crystal said she's like you still have a lot to say and like basically get your voice out there so that inspired me and um sometimes you need that little push I can definitely get a little cozy and I can get a little lazy where I'm totally same (laughs) I just want to say thank you to Crystal because I think I agree. Sometimes you need to push. I'm the exact same way. And that I completely agree with her in every single way. I think like you are meant to do this. Like, yes, you went to school for it and you trained in it. But like, I really think that this, this is what you're meant to do is you're meant to tell your story through your voice. And 
I think that's why we were able to create this small community through this podcast is because of you and your story. And even before the podcast, you were already building this incredible community online through your YouTube videos. I just think like, it's beyond that you have more to say. Like, it's not even like, oh, you have more to say. It's like, your voice should be a constant yeah. in people's lives because it matters so much. That's um, nice there. It's true. And that's why I wanted to start the podcast with you in the first place. Like when you first ever brought the idea to me, I was like, this is an, this is a vessel for persons to expand her audience because your story and your voice is so important. And so Crystal, hell yeah, love the boost. It really, I, I can tell it like a little, little fire under you because I never thought that the pod was dead. There was no part of me that was ever like, bye-bye podcast. We're never doing it again. I knew eventually it would have another life. And I'm so excited for it to be the Persa show because ultimately, like, I, I love the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I love the, the theme of Girl on Girl, that it was a straight girl and a queer girl and inviting straight people into the conversation. But I also think, like, for me, it was always about telling your story or telling queer stories. And so I, I think, like, I'm hoping that we've built that base where straight people feel like excited about these conversations and where they want to ask questions and where they want to be involved and they want to be allies. That was always our goal. But now moving forward, we have that foundation and it's like, okay, now like Persis, like go. I really think that you can take this like beyond. And I'm just so excited to see what conversations you have like you said, I'm so down to pop back in and out. Like I am here. I'm a, I'm a, a listener. I'm a fan. And the main thing I wanted to, okay, wait, I feel like I'm kind of jumping around, but should I maybe explain Yeah, my side? I was going to just ask you, yeah, like feel free to, yeah, explain your side as to like why you're like where your decision is with this. Yeah. So it was funny because before Persis reached out to me saying, Hey, I kind of want to get started back up with the podcast. What do you think? I had already been having tons of thoughts about the podcast and I kind of had to sit with myself and think during this time that we've been taking a break, how did it feel? How did it feel taking a break? And the honest truth was that it actually felt really good because I was burnt out. And so having, like I said earlier, having that one thing that, I mean, this is a time consuming hobby, y'all. If anyone out there wants to start a podcast, especially if you're interviewing incredible guests, like we've had the opportunity to do very time consuming, worth all the time we spent by a mile. However, I had to be honest with myself that oh, for my mental health, for my physical health, for everything, it felt really good. And I didn't like that it felt good at first because I was worried. I was like, does this make me less of an ally? Does this mean I didn't like doing the podcast? And I realized through through journaling on it and thinking about it more that that wasn't the case at all. And that's the main thing I want to get across in this little chit chat before girl and girl moves forward is like me not being part of the podcast consistently anymore is nothing to do with not loving the podcast. It's nothing to do with the content we were talking about. I I've been an ally. I'll be an ally. Like I love these conversations. Y'all know, I hope by this point, any OG listeners, how much I love them. It's more just like something I have to do for myself um, in terms of my life. Sidebar, another huge part of this is that I'm moving to Portugal in a few months. Very exciting go. news. Very <laughs> exciting. And so, yeah, guys, like it's been crazy trying to prepare for this type of move. And then I'm going to be in a very different time zone. Like all signs I could tell in my body, all signs are pointing to like, I can't do this anymore consistently, but I would hate for this thing to die. It's so beautiful. It's so great. It's like one of our favorite things we've ever done. And I already had this feeling that Persis should just take it and run with it. Like, and, and actually I was like, Persis and Crystal could take this and run with it. Like people love to hear from queer couples. So anyway, once you reached out to me, I was like, I've already been thinking about this. I've already been like, Persis should just go and really expand this in every way that she she wants to. Um, so yeah, I think that properly explains where I'm coming from. And I just want everyone to know, especially the OGs, like I love y'all. 
building this thing with purse has been such an incredible part of my twenties. Um, and I'm not, I'm not Sayonara forever by any means. I'm still here and um, Persis and I are still besties, sisters. Like nothing happened with Persis and I. I was also worried about that. I was like, do people think we had a friend breakup, which would break my heart? We absolutely <laughs> did not have a friend breakup. She's still my sister forever. But it's just sometimes you got to make decisions for your little your little sanity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and also like your move is a really like big chapter for you, you know, like there's going to be so many new things you're going to be like diving into. And also the time difference, it's, yeah. it would be really tough to like try to not, it barely... would be like, it would be <laughs> low key impossible, <laughs> <laughs> like high key impossible. Yeah. And um, yeah, we really, really wanted to like emphasize that Sarah and I are still like, super tight besties we talk all the time it had nothing to do with that or even me no. trying to do it on my own wasn't like a we just didn't want people to think like oh this is ending because there was a dramatic breakup I know I would be so sad if people thought that so clearing the record right now absolutely not and from this point on I'm going to be like the number one fan number one listener of the show I'm so excited to see where it goes I'm so grateful for everything we built truly like gratitude beyond. I wish there was like a better word for grateful, but that's the one that sums it all up. And um, I will be back in for conversations a thousand percent because oh. y'all I'm going to have FOMO. You already know I'm going to have FOMO. Are you kidding me? It's going to be like three episodes into Persis doing it by herself. And I'll be like, actually Sarah's back for every episode. I want to chat. I want to chat. And I, I can't wait for Crystal to come in and have conversations as well. I think that's going to be something that our listeners, knowing them, will really love and get a lot of value from is having you talk about your relationship. Yeah. And I think like we, it's always good to see more queer representation. Like mm -hmm. I love watching couples talk or like, you know, the, that that's the whole reason like I felt comfortable in my sexuality was like watching Shannon Beveridge and Cami Scott when they dated, like years ago I was like oh my god this exists like and it's it's funny because yes we know it exists but sometimes like you just don't see it and we don't see it enough mm -hmm. um so I mentioned that to Crystal too and Crystal is like she's like nervous she's like oh my god like what am I gonna say but I'm like no trust me it's so cozy it's so calm just think of it yeah. as just you and there's no one recording you it's fine just pretend you're not being recorded. Exactly. Exactly. And I like Crystal, if you're listening, LOL, I was really nervous when we first started because I was like, what am I doing? I can't talk into a microphone like this. And also no one cares what I have to say about this. And after a few months, I was like, let's go. Like I'm in, um, you just get used to it. And I think it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm sad to say goodbye to the first chapter of Girl on Girl, but I'm very excited for the next chapter. It's going to be incredible. Thank you, Sarah. I'm I'm really I'm really excited. It's bittersweet even like to think of myself doing it on my own is weird for me too. Like I have to say that because I find like even throughout the years that we've done the pod, it was so fun to like connect with you. At one point we were doing it every week, but mm -hmm. we've been not only get to have like a big catch up because we were living in different places, but we would talk about some like really important things. And we were also learning as we, you know, like throughout the episode as well. Yeah. And I feel like I'm also very grateful for the pod because we all know life gets busy. Like we're, it's hard to keep up with your friends all the time as much as you want to. But I feel like Sarah and I literally like had scheduled time in because of the podcast. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's one thing about this 10 month break is like, we didn't get to have those bi-weekly catch-ups anymore. And as we're still tight and at the same time, like I miss those catch-ups and I feel like listening to the pod will be like my little dose of Persis when I need my little dose of Persis way over in Europe. But I think like as busy as life gets, Crystal said it best, like work is important. Friends are important. Family's important. And also like, if there's something you're really good at and really passionate about and something that matters to you this much, as much as I know this matters to you, it is so worth trying to make the time for it. Yeah. So 
you're doing it. You're taking initiative. You're saying I'm ready for this. And I'm so stoked you guys. Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm excited. And it, you know, when things just like happen, like you get a gut feeling about like, I'm feeling this right now. I think it's always for a reason. And I absolutely, think if you feel something, go with it, follow mm-hmm. your gut and do it and just have fun. Like I yeah, think, dude, like yeah. just have fun. So let's all have some fun. I'm still going to be like, I still have the Instagram login. You guys, I'm going to be like on the Instagram and stuff. <laughs> I'll be so there. I'm going to do all the comms. <laughs> She's still going to like answer. Community the- manager. Yeah, Sarah's going to be the community manager still. I'll pop on and like post on the story every now and then. Like, hey guys. Please. You should, especially with your Portugal, like your new like move. I, I keep wanting to say trip, but it's it's not a trip. It's a move. Like Sarah yeah, moving to Portugal. <laughs> yeah. I had a friend from work the other day be like, I have to talk to you about your trip. And I was like, what trip? You're like, aren't you aren't you going to Portugal on a trip? I was like, oh, honey, <laughs> it's not that. It's not a trip. Your girl be moving. She was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted. I can't wait. And I love you so much, Percy Buns. I love you too, Sarah, so much. Thank you for jumping on this too. We also, classic Sarah and Purse, we were like talking about this and I was like, how should I like say you're not going to be there? And no, it's better Sarah just explains it herself. Yeah, well, no, oh. you could have explained it fine, but I was like, I'll just hop on because I just didn't want anyone to think that we had a friend breakup or that I was like, that I secretly hated the podcast or something. <laughs> those those were my worst fears. So oh. hopefully I cleared that up and y'all know that I love you and I love this community and I am going to keep learning forever. I'm like, it's taught me how important it is to learn about these things. So bless you all. Blessings. Thank you. Blessings to all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well, good luck, Persis. Boa sorte, minha amiga. Muito, muito obrigada. Is that Portuguese? Sim. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, you're like taking lessons, right? Yeah. If any listeners speak Portuguese, uh, literally hop in the DMs because I want to practice with Portuguese speakers. Oh, my God. And what did you say to me? <laughs> I said, good luck, my friend, and thank you so much. Aw, that's amazing. How do I say thank you? Obrigada. Obri- obrigada. <laughs> I'll see you in Portugal. When you come to Portugal, we'll do like a we'll do we'll do an episode. Yes, that's like a hundred percent. I'll bring I'll bring the little mic and we'll we'll have to do an episode. Okay, love it. Can't wait to visit you. Okay, so based off of that conversation, you guys definitely know the lowdown with what's happening with Girl on Girl in the future. I'm gonna be taking over. I've been missing doing this podcast for a very long time, and um. I feel like when Sarah and I had stopped recording last year, it was kind of like an unplanned thing. We were both just like super busy. There was so much going on and to dedicate time to the podcast was so much fun. But I feel like both of us were experiencing like just a little burnout based on our own experiences. So that being said, I'm ready now to start releasing episodes again and talking to the community. I really miss being so involved in the queer community and having my voice out there. Um, I feel like there's still so much awareness we need to spread. And I feel like there's portions of my story I actually haven't talked about yet. And I'm like excited to get a little bit deeper and more vulnerable. That's what's going to happen. I'm definitely going to be having my girlfriend, Crystal, on the podcast, which I am so excited about because I would love for you guys to get to know her. There's a lot we definitely want to like talk about in terms of like our relationship and things we've navigated as a couple and things we've unlearned. And um, I also think like it's important to show queer relationships and we're both femme presenting women. And I think it's always good to like showcase that type of representation. So that's what's to come. Definitely going to be looking into getting some guests again on the podcast very, very soon. Just wanted to sign on basically to give you this update. Please let me know if there's any topics you're interested in. Um, If there's any guests you want me to have on the podcast, I'll make sure to reach out and try and make that happen. 